Hey folks, Just Vesibora here, and I'm doing a movie review this week. It's called The Witches. It's based on the book by Ron Dow, who's the writer of Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, as well as Matilda and James and the Giant Peach. And it's produced by Jim Henson. And it stars Angelica Houston from The Addams Family, Mae Zetterling, Jason Fitcher, Owen Alkison from Mr. Bean, Bill Patterson, and Charlie Potter. And it's directed by Nicholas Rogue. The movie begins when an orphan boy named Luke, played by Jason Fitcher, is now living with his grandmother, Helga, played by Mae Zinnerling, and she was talking about the story about all these witches that's coming around the town. That is until one day Luke actually discovers a witch that came beneath his path. However, on that particular day they were celebrating his birthday. That is until Helga had received a severe case of diabetes. So during the holiday Luke and his grandmother Helga decided to go to a grand hotel to stay there for a while in order to recover her illness. However, Luke had discovered that there was a convention coming around, but it wasn't any ordinary convention. It was a witch's convention, which is run by Miss Eva Ernest, played by Angelica Houston, who is also known as the Grand High Witch. And her plan, along with the rest of the witches, was to turn a thousand children, including the ones in the hotel, into mice by using one of their potions in order to kill them. So once Luke and his other friend, Bruno Jenkins, who's played by Charlie Potter, has turned into mice, they decided to escape from those witches, and go up to Helga's room, and develop a plan to stop these witches from harming all the rest of the children just by taking their potions and get their revenge. But for a film like this, I gotta admit, it did creep me out when I was a kid. I was actually five years old when I first saw this movie. And I remember how much, how creepy this film really was. Even for that age. But um, there was one scene that was very disturbing was when the Grand High Witch, of course, gave uh, Bruno Jenkins the potion and he transforms into a mouse. And it was done in a very creepy way that, believe it or not, it did freak me out at that age. I couldn't believe it. I'm sure a lot of people got freaked out when they saw that scene because the movie was way too dark. Also, Warren Alkinson, uh, who played the hotel manager, was actually very good in the film. This would have been like after, or possibly before, but it, it had to be after, where he was doing the TV show Mr. Bean. So he eventually got this role, and, and he's played in a different way. So he isn't like, you know, Mr. Bean, in that sort of way. But it had a great cast too. I thought Angelica Houston you know, did a tremendous job playing the role as the Grand High Witch. You know, this is the kind of role that I didn't think anybody would pull off but her. Yeah. Because ironically, she would wind up in another film called The Addams Family, later the sequel, Addams Family Values. So that that's a good choice right there for her career after appearing in so many other films that she's done you know, years later. And, of course, in her earlier roles, such as uh, Prissy's Honor, with Jack Nicholson and Kevin Turner. I know a lot of people didn't like the ending of the film, which you, I don't want to spoil it too much, but but you probably already know already by now. But I'm sure that, but I know the author, who, you know, Ron Dow, who written the book, didn't like the ending either, so yes. Yeah, he, he wanted that to be changed. I think the director wanted it to, you know, he wanted to change that as well, to follow the story, but unfortunately, 
I think this was the studio, you know, Lawnmark Film Entertainment, perhaps. Which, of course, Warner Brothers is the distributor. I guess they wanted to do some changes, you know. It's your typical Hollywood ending that they get these days. But that's okay. I, I, I can accept that ending that they had. I knew what was going to happen. And and even if I had read the book, which I know I probably would have, I probably would have known the difference between this and, and the movie ending that we had. But other than that, though, I, I really enjoyed this movie a lot. It was, uh, it was a fun film. It was made uh, by the Jim Henson Productions. Yeah, and this was, of course, Jim Henson's his last film, as opposed to the author, Ron Dow. This was a treat. It worked pretty well. Um, the designs were amazing. The latex, yeah, including the, uh, the Grand High Witch's look. Man, just creepy. Something that you never thought you'd seen before. I mean, it's such a shame for a film like this that was made back in the early 90s or this rate uh, late 80s because yes this was made in 1989 but it came out in 1990 during the late summer didn't do very well at the box office um, but yeah you gotta admit though it was one of the darkest films I've ever seen I would imagine if, if a movie like this gets made today but unfortunately it'll probably be made with CGI on it I don't think so, because I, I like this movie the way it was done. All creativity, latex, and all this stuff, and the animatronics with the mice. It's just perfect. Something you'd rather be watching than any of the today's movies these days. Okay, I, I know I, that's a little bit of my rant there, but I just don't want to see a good film like this being you know, changed. But otherwise, why would we want it to? It's, it's worth watching. Especially during Halloween, yeah, it's coming up too, and all these others, so I'm, I'm sure you're going to enjoy this, this was fun. So anyway, I give the witches five stars. I'm Joseph A. Sabora, and I'll see you later. Bye.